Hey everyone, so today I've made a wise decision that I am gonna start making content for you all like with commitment. So I know that I have not been posting regularly and I have not been up to date with my posts, but uh, I promise you that I'm gonna uh, provide you with some valuable content about uh, anything like whatever I'm learning in the future, what I'm gonna learn today, like I think sharing about what I'm doing actually right now might even help you guys. For those of you who are equally as passionate and uh, would like to learn um, knowledge and uh, would like to uh, learn about what is businesses and what are tech. It's so, like these all stuff are going to be discussed in our channel. So like, I think um, it's quite open for everyone because uh, I'm, I, I mean like it, it's meant for anyone who's interested in this stuff. So starting off with today's uh, topics, like today I actually was thinking of uh, a simple uh, event uh, which I actually um, have been to uh, in like the holidays. Like so my summer holidays actually recently ended and I had to go to uh, my school started. So uh, I have to again get back to the homeworks, assignments and it's like a, it's been hectic actually lately. So. I've been, I came back from school just like an hour back, so I just wanted to talk to you guys for a while. So I just thought of why not filming myself and talking to you guys today. So I was thinking um, in the holidays about what can I do that's so crazy and um, equally as um, curious in my opinion, like for me. So like I think uh, this was like a journey filled with ups and downs but I think it paid off with the last so what am I talking about actually so I'm trying to simply talk about that I actually thought of building a small business online business uh, it it's uh, it's called swansery.com uh, it started like a month back and uh, we are still in progress in like um, making great like sales but we didn't make that much yet but uh, I'm just trying to like understand how those businesses work. I've looked at all these different competitors. So what am I, what am I selling basically? I am uh, basically planning on selling accessories and items like uh, jewelry, chains and uh, rings and all these uh, cool stuff, which I think teenagers would generally like and I try to drop ship them. So the whole idea of this business model, which I try to do is drop shipping. I know this has been quite a, a buzzword dropshipping in uh, the last two, three years. And I think I've uh, missed the trend, but I know it's never too late to start about what is dropshipping and like even learn about it. So I just went and hopped on it and uh, watched some YouTube tutorials in the initial stages because I didn't really know what I'm doing. So I just went and um, watched some bunch of YouTube tutorials and um, I explored about what exactly they're trying to do there. But uh, it's not as easy as it sounds because there are a bunch of issues associated with it. And the number one thing that many people lack when they're doing dropshipping is the uh, commitment and consistency over uh, checking your business and um, having that will to like and drive to first do it. Because I'm being brutally honest with you, for the first two to three months, I was like very clear that uh, it was not meant to make money. It was meant to accumulate as much knowledge as possible, as much experiences and as much understanding of what this is. Because at, uh, at my age, when I'm, I'm still in school, so I still think that I'm in the stage of learning. So, and also trial and error, which is like, I have the leisure to do that because, um, all I have to, uh, all I have is just go to school, right? For like, uh, six hours. And rest all time is whatever I spend on. So like I can, I mean, I have to also do my homeworks, but this is something which I really would like to uh, pursue and like learn about and all this stuff. But this is just like a short term thing, which I'm planning out, but nothing really long term on this business, but it's mainly up for the uh, experience of how to run a business because uh, ever since I was like a fifth or sixth grade and sixth grade, um, I was just aspiring to be someone like some great person, like an entrepreneur, basically. So it, is, it has always been my dream. It's not actually from today that I just hopped in and said, okay, I want to do it. And 
I want to become an entrepreneur. It has always been my dream, but I didn't really have the um, proper guidance maybe at that time, or maybe I was not even enough matured enough to understand what is this actually take. So it takes a lot, simple and straightforward. So yeah, th that's basically the, the story. It's like, uh, I started off this business in like June. Uh, so I took a bit of help from my friends about uh, what could I sell and all that stuff because I was also quite new, right? But I remember many people, like many of my friends, um, didn't really uh, support me sometimes. But like, they, I mean, like not in a negative way, but what they meant was they didn't really understand the scope because they thought that uh, you're doing ev like everyone else. I know I'm doing like everyone else. Like many people are doing drop shipping and many people are doing the same business. But the whole idea was to just learn stuff like from scratch. Like, okay, if I fail, the worst case is I get no profit and I might, I might just lose some money because yeah, you spend like a lot, like some money, like initially in order to start the business and run it and like, like get people attracted to the products and buy them and all that stuff. So I know like, uh, I didn't have like the greatest support, but the thing is they, uh, they always like, were like listening to me about what I was trying to do and all that stuff. And that actually really helped me because. Uh, whenever I was uh, thinking of some crazy ideas, they were here to correct me. So I think it was really important for me to like uh, talk to my peers and even my family members. Like I, I used to like have quick chit chats with my dad about what I could do instead uh, of selling this product and how could I find a better supplier for drop shippings like this product. Because uh, to be honest, it's like a whole big maze. Like drop shipping is. Um, it's it sounds simple like the model is just to like take a product and put it there and you're just being like a third party um, person in this whole uh, process like i mean it just sounds easy but the thing is um uh the main part is like the marketing that you have to look at which takes a lot of effort because um when you're doing marketing right it should attract people in a way that they keep coming and buying again and again and again because that's what lasts your business and that's what I call customer retention rate which is essential for any business to grow because without loyal customers guys I'm telling you your business is not going to last uh, be it like three or six or uh, nine months like max one year maybe because uh, though you find new customers no I'm not saying that you're not finding if you are finding it good but the point is if you have like customers who have always been loyal to you or like for as, for example if you see apple um apple has a very big loyal customer base including me actually i used to buy i mean i also buy apple products even the phone which i'm filming in now is actually an apple product so it's an iphone so these all stuff uh, came to me because i see apple as a potential brand like a brand which gives value to my products and like whenever i go outside I feel like this uh, phone which I carry gives me more value uh, in terms of like uh, using the gadget. Like it just, it just like uh, is identified more. So that's why many people take it uh, as in like they look at the brand value more than the features and all that stuff. So the same thing goes with any dropshipping business also. Because if you also see my business, uh, when I started off, I don't have any marketing, no people working for me because I can't pay. I mean like. I started off zero guys, like I'm telling you, like zero, nothing bro. Like I'm not saying I, I made like crazy stuff as of now, but I know I will. I'm sure um, many people are on this journey, but um, are feeling a dis like, like not motivated and like they just feel like, do you really have to work on something that might not work? But like the whole idea is just to understand, like the experiences matter more guys. So. Don't give up. And uh, even me, I also always like tell to myself, it's fine because um, all I'm doing is uh, learning a new thing and like a thousand other ways, if they don't work out, maybe the next method might work out. So have that belief maybe. So that's one more thing which I would like to share. And uh, lastly, uh, what could I say? So one more thing is, uh, when you're looking at products, right? Uh, I found this very um, 
uh, like I didn't understand this before, but when I'm when I was looking at products in like uh, these big big marketplaces like um, AliExpress, Timu, and uh, even Indian marketplaces because like uh, why not? Because it like uh, it was really hard to find a supplier because that's the whole idea. If you don't have a supplier, you're you don't have a dropshipping business basically because your pretty much your whole lifeline is based on a proper supplier who can give you the products that you would like to sell and uh, market and do whatever with it. Because if you don't have products, what's the point? What what value are you providing to the customers? You're giving a product. So that product should be at its peak, like the best of the best. So unless you have such a crazy product, I mean, some people are trying to find trending products and unique products, which also works. But uh, in that case, maybe the quality is... Uh, not like I mean it matters to an extent but if it's that new and creative and maybe even useful uh, some some products are actually useless but um, but most of the like you know those trendy products which are like um, sometimes like useless but they still like sell like a lot so I mean those are like some exceptions I want to say I, I can't talk about them really like, this ex like they just are like exceptions but I um yeah and uh, yeah, I think um, that's it for today. Maybe um, I would actually like to share more, but uh, maybe maybe like some something else. Like I I think I should be more prepared with you guys next time when I talk. But because like I I feel like telling a lot of um, uh, new stuff like which might help you guys. But I think this is like an opener for day one. So today is my official day one, which I. Uh, told in the start also for content creation so i think it's a decent start but um let's see how it goes for the next few days where i keep producing content for you guys and uh, please do like share and subscribe to creative nikesh and that's the channel name and my name is nikesh creative nikesh nikesh yeah